How do you let go of people who obviously don't want to be around you anymore? If they don't want to be around you anymore, respect yourself and create some distance between yourself and them. The world is a big place and life is too short, especially in the middle of a global pandemic, to keep the company of those who don't appreciate what you have to offer the world. Kinda dealing with this myself RN, I find myself still wanting to message them, offer support and generally just be there for them. I keep having to stop myself. You just gotta take time and try to step back, even if you don't want to. That's what works for me. When you stop reaching to them first, and see that it has no effect on them, then you realize that what you did was right, and you have no value in their life. Decide to let go of them, and then remind yourself of that decision. It isn't easy but the habit does build eventually. I wonder what they're up to. Oh, no, wait. I've let them go. Your brain will start to believe you eventually. Yes and I find that allowing yourself to mourn the friendship helps too. It's a type of breakup but for some reason it's less talked about in society. The best thing someone ever told me is don't treat someone like a priority when they treat you like an option. People will come into your life for reasons, seasons and lifetimes. When you figure out which it is you will know exactly what to do. Feels like I am always an option. I know the feeling it sucks. Just let them go. Whatever is going on in their heads isn't your responsibility. Yes it's painful, and you may never know their reason. Happened to me with some best friends. They just ghosted me at a time when I was going through some personal crises. They were people who always called me when they needed me, but I guess I stopped being useful needed. So they weren't real friends after all. Yes it hurts and you may think it's so unfair, but once you let go of them completely you'll find your peace. If you found yourself in the position of letting them go doesn't that mean they were to leave one day or other. My best advice is knowing your self-worth and focusing on yourself. I went through a rough patch this last year with someone not wanting me in their life anymore because of a breakup. The best thing I did for myself was delete my social media and take time for myself, doing things I enjoyed, rather than sit around waiting for a change. I started to paint, do yoga, and go back to church which I really enjoyed. I also changed my diet completely and started working out, I improved myself because I didn't want him to think I was devastated and dependent on him, I was devastated but I didn't want to give him that satisfaction. Doing the things you enjoy will allow you to focus on that and start to forget, that helped me with letting go of my wish to be with him. I hope you're doing well. Focus on yourself. Don't let anyone question your self-worth. Keep telling yourself don't think about them and that you deserve better. Then you'll let go. I just leave and if they don't ask me to come back after all I've done for them I just keep on going. Find hobby or new friends to invest time until you don't think about them as much stop caring. Respect their choice and move on. Don't take it personally and get lost in it. It may be painful in the start, but you want to be with people that honestly want to be with you. Slowly stop being around them. The best way, I think, is to find another group of people who you feel comfortable around. And then you can start surrounding yourself with them. Over time you can spend more time together and start lessening the time with the people who don't want to be around you. You can do the same with yourself if you don't want a new group of people. You can start having more me time and slowly transition to always spending time alone if you don't mind being alone. And try your best to stop contacting them as much. If it's evident they don't want to be around you, you're only hurting yourself by putting yourself with them, if that makes sense. If everyone moves on without you checking in, then the truth is they don't really need you there. I just let them and don't bother contacting them in any way. There's no contract, I'll be fine. When I know it, I straight up tell them they can tell me whether they still feel like friends lovers. When they say no I'm fine with that and just let them take their own path. I just accept it, but depending of the situation I am willing to let them in again when they are open for it again. 
People who isolates themselves because of depression or got other issues because of life, I am open to let them in again when they are ready. But people who tells you they got cooler people to hang with and treats you like air and freezes you out, I flat out ignore those people. I guess if you are around age of 16 it can hurt that more for some people where friendship feels like the world. Just accept it even if it can be hurting or frustrating, there are other people out there. And or if you are one of those lucky people you also got a good family who watches over you with care and love. My, hopefully, soon to be ex-BFF, every time we text I get an I want space or a K by. She called my reflux disgusting and ignored me when we hung out on several occasions, I have a post on this, and I would really appreciate some advice cause it's really making me feel bad and I just wanna be done with her. She isn't your friend. You deserve better. Just peace out. Walk away mentally and emotionally before you walk away physically. And then, don't turn around. Ace of base doesn't turn around. Be like ace of base. They'll probably run back for you, but don't let them turn your head. Keep going. Keep that door closed. It's more humane. From someone who has recently got out of a toxic friend group, it's better to detach yourself slowly. I started focusing on self-love and simultaneously taught myself to let go. Today, I'm in a better place with better people who value me. But it all started with me being my own best friend. It could can be a little hard, but it all gets better along the way. Not sure this is exactly the same as your situation, but a while ago a friend, who I had heard thought I no longer liked him, decided to smugly correct things and say he didn't like me. Any good will just evaporate it for that person on the spot. My suggestion is to get mad at them. Screw them for not wanting to be around you. And then let that anger go because they are not worth it. I simply accept it and stop giving a shit. Sometimes it sucks more than other times depending on how long I've known them etc. But in the end it boils down to the fact that if they for no reason or some dumb reason don't want to be around you, they weren't really good friends and it's their loss. I guess it can be rather complicated sometimes, but being able to move on is very important. Step back, unfollow mute so you're not reminded of them every few seconds, and tell yourself every time you need it that every minute you spend wanting to be around them is doing yourself a disservice.